Hey guys, how's it going? We're back in action, almost. Sort of. Maddie's definitely doing good, like 90%. <clears throat> yeah. I'm probably 80%. If you guys didn't already hear, we had the Rona. And we also had to postpone the Danger Ranger 9000 and Drift Night, which really, really sucked. And uh, we're, we're here now though. This is the longest I've ever gone without posting a video on the main channel. Before we get back into the normal routine of things, I just wanted to talk a little bit about you know, kind of what happened to us and how it like rocked our world really caught me by surprise. I never thought anything could change uh, the path of our lives so aggressively and so quickly. From the start of the coronavirus stuff, we've lived our lives like it never happened, which was a choice that we made. You know, we traveled the country. I've been to at least 30 different states you know, over the last year and a half. And I followed all the rules, you know, I obviously wear my mask when I'm supposed to, when I'm on planes, things like that. Other than that though, you know, we, we live our lives pretty freely. I was making a water run. And in doing that, there's obviously a lot of risk. I didn't really know what the risk was of catching COVID till this week when I caught it. So basically like 10 days ago, Maddie started not feeling well. She, uh, just kind of had some cold-like symptoms. So she went in, got a, thank you, got a test and it said it was negative. So we're like, all right, we're good. So we started, you know, just kind of trying to get her to feel better, things like that. Then I caught what she had. And then several days later, we started feeling really crappy. We went back, got a rapid test done and it turns out we had COVID. Now I know there's these different variants of COVID whatever they may be, whatever we got had to have been the worst of the worst ones. Seriously. So we're yeah, 26 and 27 years old, got absolutely rocked by this thing. Didn't go to the hospital, but you know, we were here at the house. Thankfully a friend of mine, Caleb brought over an oxygen machine, which I think, you know, just about saved my freaking life. I, uh, Woke up in the middle of the night, just like choking, couldn't breathe at all. Uh, luckily got all the oxygen and it helped me a lot. You know, like it was crazy. Unfortunately, I took NyQuil, so I had no idea this was going yeah, on. Yeah, well like, no, Maddie was in such bad shape. Out. She couldn't help me <laughs> and I couldn't help her. I mean, we were in freaking like it brought us down to the lowest point physically I've ever been in my life. For sure. I don't know about you. No, for sure. So you get better one day, then the next day you were just down, down for the count. Yeah, we were like this for a week, but there was three days, three nights that were just absolutely brutal. And those are actually the three nights leading up to the Danger Ranger. Unfortunately, we postponed Danger Ranger because of weather, but uh, you know, the plan was I was gonna just try and uh, drive in the Ranger and drive in my drift car and quarantine, but as we got closer to those days, there's no way I would have been able to do that. Uh, it just worked out that the rain came and we ended up moving it and we'll just have to crush it in October. So that being said, you know, now we're through it and uh, we're feeling pretty good. I'm, you know, not 100% by any means. Maddie's close though. She can do most everything. I just like it freaking wore out from doing almost nothing. It's crazy, but I'm getting better every day. So I'll be back at work in a couple of days. You know, I had a lot of time to think like, you know, how does this change the way I go about life now? You know, I don't want to get this again because you can get COVID again. I know now we kind of have the natural vaccine for a little while until, you know, another variant comes out or whatever. The reality of it is I would choose to live my life freely and open and, you know, continue to do the things I do every day over, uh, you know, sitting at home and hiding from something that could be. So I already went, you know, a year and a half without ever getting it. I think now I'll definitely be a little bit more cautious and washing my hands mm -hmm. and staying healthier, you know, beforehand, you know, in case I do get it, but I am not going to, uh, I'm definitely not going to really change the course of the way I go out in public and, you know, interact with fans and 
people and mm -hmm. people we work with. And I'm not going to make any suggestions to you guys. I don't think anybody you, should have yeah. any suggestions. No one should be suggesting to other people how they should live their lives right now, especially the airheads on the TV. So you guys should just make your own decisions based on risk and reward, you know? How much risk are you willing to take to live your life? And uh, that's all I could really say about it. Sorry, one of our dogs <laughs> is destroying a toy in the background. We're really thankful for our family that we got through all this. And like I said, I still can't believe how bad it was. Our family came by and brought us food, dropped it on the porch and just whatever we needed, they came and Everyone was oh. checking up on us. Yeah, and it means the all world, you guys sure. checking up on us and blowing up our DMs and stuff, you know. <laughs> we might not have been able to reply to everybody, but we would thank you guys so much for just being there and our phones were going crazy. But I mean, there was a point when we couldn't even use our freaking phones. It was- We were out. <laughs> really crappy. <laughs> So, well, we're back. Yeah, we're back. I actually have a video filmed from before I got sick. So I'm gonna put that up on the main channel later. And George and, and James are filming a video right now that we're gonna piece together with some other stuff that I filmed. And we're gonna get that out. So the videos are gonna start coming back up. Just wanted to update you guys so you know uh, where we've freaking been and how we're doing. But uh, we're really happy to be making this video. That's for sure. Like, I'm so happy that we're done with this. And I'm happy that I have um, my smell back somewhat. If your toothpaste starts tasting weird, <laughs> you probably have Corona. That yes. was the first, like... We were both so shocked. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what mine tastes like. It tasted fine in the morning, and then I went to use it at night. It tasted like vinegar. And gross. I was like, there's something going on. Ended off there. Thank you, guys. Appreciate all your love and support as always. We'll see you over on the main channel. It's time to get the live action flowing once again.